What's happening with the housing market, guys? The Fed is willing to throw the housing market under the bus to cool inflation. Jerome Powell said last week that, and I quote this, the deceleration in housing prices that we are seeing should help bring home prices more closely in line with rents and other housing market fundamentals. And that's a good thing. And he also said the following, for the longer, what we need is supply and demand to get better in line so that the housing prices go up at a reasonable pace and that people can afford houses again. If you've been watching my channel at all, my videos, you are very well aware that just a year ago, homes were selling so fast, literally within short few hours, buyers were outbidding each other by tens of thousands of dollars, sometime even outbidding by hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on which real estate market you were buying or selling a house at. And so when the Fed began a steady increase of rates causing mortgage rates to rise, we're like now hovering over 7%. And from what it looks like to me, interest rates may even reach 8% by the end of the year. This really makes home affordability extremely expensive. In many places, home prices started to come down to meet the buyer affordability. This makes a lot of sense mathematically. Mark Zandi, a chief economist of Moody's Analytics says, and I quote him, the housing market is the most interest rate sensitive sector of the economy. He continues to say that it's on the front lines of the fallout from the Fed's efforts to bring down inflation. It's clear to see why home prices are expected to fall. Recession or not, home buyers simply can't afford both the high home prices and the high mortgage rates at the same time, end of quote. So let's see how all of this affecting our housing market on Staten Island and then we'll also look at the New Jersey housing market as well. And I will put it all for you in chapters so you can find it very easily. All right, let's look at the monthly indicators from Cyber Realtors, our MLS for September, and the new listings on Staten Island decreased 14.5% to 466 the pending sales were down 24.2% to 314. The inventory levels fell 12.1% to 1,553 units. Prices continued to gain traction. The median sale price increased 11.5% to a $680,000. And the days on the market was down 25.3% to two. 55 days on the market. Buyers again felt empowered as month supply of inventory was up 4.2% to four months of inventory. Affordability challenges have priced many buyers out of the market this year and buyers who do succeed in purchasing a home are finding that the cost of home ownership have increased significantly with monthly mortgage payments more than 55% higher than a year ago. And that's according to the National Association of Realtors. The inventory remains lower than normal as the market continues to shift. Experts project homes will begin to spend more days on the market. Price growth will slow in the months ahead. Okay, my New Jersey peeps, let's look at what's going on in the monthly indicator August of 2022. New Jersey is a little one month behind with their stats all the time from the New Jersey realtors. So summer of 2022 has been a season for change for the U.S. real estate market with housing affordability at 33 year low. Existing home sales have continued to soften nationwide, falling 5.9% month to month and 20.9% year over year as of the last measure, according to the National Association of Realtors. The pending home sales have also continued to decline, while new listings have steadily increased, with unsold inventory reaching 3.3 months supply at the start of August, 
The pullback in demand has been particularly hard on home builders, causing new home sales and construction to slow. So let's look at the single family close sales, the townhouse condo close sales, and the adult community close sales for New Jersey. So they were down, the close sales for the single family homes were 17.8%. They were down by 17.8%. And for the townhouse and condo close sales, they were down by 15.2%. And the adult community, the close sales were up by 2.9%. So you see the adult communities sales have gone up. So when we look in here, we're going to understand why. So let's look at the single family market overview and we will compare August of last year to August of this year. The new listings have dropped on the new single families from 9,918 available single family homes last August to 7,873 available homes this August went down by 20.6%. The pending sales were down by 16.3% and the closed sales were down by 17.8%. And this is, as I always say and explain, is that's a direct result from less inventory, of course, will give us less pending sales, and of course, will give us less close. So let's continue right here. The median sale price went up to 500,000. It went up by 8.7%. And even when you compare year over year, you see the decline right here and the increase of the median sale price by 10% year over year. The average sale price on a single family home in New Jersey is up and it's now at 620,000. And then the days on the market is lower than last August by only one day, which is funny. Okay, let's look at the townhouse and the condo market. Let's see how they compare. So the new listings were down by 21.5%. So again, we are losing inventory, not enough inventory. Pending sales, of course, again, going to be down if the listing inventory is down. So it's down by 18.3%. And the close sales, again, a reflection of the inventory is down by 15.2%. And so is year over year. The median sale price is up to 336,000 and it's up by 6.7%. And then the average price on a townhouse and condo market is also up to now 400 and almost $29,000. It's up by 9.9%. And let's see the percentage of list price received, meaning like sold to list. So again, obviously when there's such a high demand, you would still see that listing a house at, in this case, the townhouse in the condo market would still selling for more than the ask price. The days on the market are shrinking from 35 days last August to 30 days this August shrunk by 14.3%. Now that communities is for people who like the 55 plus communities. Now the new listings, this one is what a fresh breath change is now up by 5%. But the pending sales are still down by 8.2% and the closed sales are up by 2.9%. So here's the direct correlation between what I was saying, more inventory results in more closed sales. The median sale price is up 300,000, up by 13.8%. And the average sale price is up to $356,000, up by 10.4%. And we are now seeing a bit of an even, but not really. So the 
price of list price, the percentage of list price received versus the ask price. Yes, it shows here that it's hitting like a almost 1% less, but if you look, it's just comparing because it's still more than 100% of the asking price. That may start change a little bit, but we shall see next month. So the days on the market didn't change. It still takes 28 days to sell an adult community. It's been a hell of a ride and no one knows when things will come down. And I always tell you that housing market is very hyper local and each market has its own challenges. And just because nationwide things look like they're falling apart does not necessarily mean you're experiencing the same type of real estate market in your own backyard. For that, you need to follow my channel to be up to date on what's happening with the housing market right here on Staten Island. And for my peeps who are considering New Jersey, you must subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to know exactly what the housing market is doing. This is Asphir Popolevsky, broker owner with Supreme Home Sales. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you on the next Staten Island and New Jersey market.